Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today with a book of the month club book haul. I don't really like doing hauls very much anymore because it's just like boring to me to do, but occasionally there's like a particular subset of books that I kind of want to share. I only recently subscribed to book of the month and it was specifically, well, I had a friend of mine that kept trying to get me to subscribe to book of the month and I was like, yeah, well, I'm gonna have so many other subscriptions, like maybe. And then there was one particular book that was only available as an add-on that I was like, I need it. So I decided to subscribe and I've stayed subscribed because, you know, life. These are in a very short amount of time, like since mm, May, that I have picked up all these Book of the Month Club books. So we're just gonna go through them. The pile isn't really stacked in chronological order. Although it kind of is, but not really, but it is, but mm, a bit. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just go through them. And I'll kind of tell you why I picked them, I guess. So that's what a haul is. It's been a while. Yeah, I'll tell you why I picked them. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. <laughs> we split it into two piles and it's still falling. Okay. okay we may as well start with, uh, please don't fall. Okay, for realsies. No. Okay. I think we're good. We may as well start with the book that started it all, the whole reason I subscribed in the first place. Also, if you don't know what Book of the Month Club is, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I could have been an affiliate for their YA books, but I don't care about that. So I'm not here to promote anything. <laughs> I'm just here to tell you about it. It's a subscription where new releases are like among the editions. They're all like Book of the Month Club editions. It's a different edition from the normal one. And then they also have some Book of the Month Club editions of other books that you can add on to your package. So if you subscribe, it's kind of like Audible where you get a credit and then you apply that credit to a new release where you can like store the credit for next month if you don't like any of the picks they have. But if you want any of the add-ons, then you have to like use your credit for one of this month's books and then you can add on up to two books that you have to pay for as well. But that's the only way you can get them is as an add-on. It's a gimmick. <laughs> Let's be real, it's a gimmick and it worked because like here I am a subscriber. So anyway, the reason I subscribed in the first place was because I wanted a hardcover copy of The Secret History by Donna Tart. I got a paperback copy, which is the one that I read and I really, really loved it. Totally fell in love with the story and her writing. And as far as I could tell, there was no hardcover copy around, at least not anymore. The book came out a while ago. And then I saw actually somebody on Instagram saying, hey, anyone who's a Book of the Month Club subscriber, do me a solid and get me the hardcover copy they have in their add-ons for Secret History. And I was like, maybe it's time I subscribe. So I subscribed. And even though I didn't really like any of the books that were like for that month, I picked one so that I could add on The Secret History. This was my goal and I got it. So it's a hardcover copy of The Secret History. If you subscribe now, I think they still have this available as an add-on. Not a hundred on that, but I think so. Anyway, so it's a hardcover copy. And then because it's a book of the month club book, then it says it has their little logo on the corner and on the spine. And then the naked book also is always like a two-tone and then has the Book of the Month Club logo on the spine there as well. So yeah, they're just like nice additions. They're not like super crazy fancy. They don't have like crazy fan art, like when you get like Alcrate books or anything like that. They're just nice. They're just nice, solid books. So this, this is how it started. This is what started it all. So I guess we'll, if I find it, go to the book that I picked that month because I had to pick something. And that was Necessary People by Anna Pichuniak. Yep. I actually started reading this one. Um, I told my friend who's the one that convinced me to subscribe in the first place or was trying to get me to before. Um, she reads a lot of thrillers. So I was like, I don't really like any of the books this month. I'll get the thriller and I'll just give it to you. But I was like, oh, let me read it first. And I read that, uh, a third of it and I haven't picked it up since. I kind of want to finish it. Like it's, it's kind of intriguing, but it doesn't, I mean, I kind of forgot that it existed also. Oh yeah, and it tells you what month it is from when it's, um, so now I know for sure it was May that I subscribed because this is the May 2019 book of the month. So yeah, I mean, it's fine. I might finish it or I'll just give it to my friend finally. And just like secret history, it's two-tone. It's got the, got the logo on there. So yeah, I might finish it. It's really freaking short. Who knows? Who knows? And then I think it was that same month that I got those two or near thereafter. I picked up Spinning Silver from Book of the Month as again, I wanted a nice hardcover copy and I'd actually ordered a hardcover copy from Amazon, but it had like an unremovable permanent sticker on it situation going on. And I hate that. I just wanted a clean copy. So I picked it 
for as one of my add-ons at some point. I think it was in May. I don't remember. I can check my order history, but it doesn't really matter. So it, it was a book of the month, I guess, in July 2018. So they still had it as an add-on. So yes, yeah, same thing. Logos on it. This one is blue and gold two-tone with the logo on it. And yeah, still haven't read Spinning Silver. I've got like three copies of it. I was not loving Uprooted, so... People have told me I'd like Spinning Silver better. Oh Lord, I hope that's true because I have three copies. Um, then the next book of the month that I picked for my book of the month in June was Recursion by Blake Crouch. I have not read this yet. I have also not read Dark Matter, but I own it and I'm, I've been wanting to read it for years. And I think I really would like Recursion as well. So I hadn't pre-ordered it anywhere and I didn't think it would be coming in any of my sub boxes. I didn't have any other editions of it coming. So I was like, yeah. I'll get it from Book of the Month. That'll be nice. So I did. Haven't read it. Can't tell you anything. Except that it was my Book of the Month. And it's gold and black. There you go. Ta-da! Then I think it was in that same month, but they're melding together for me. Then I got Daisy Jones and the Six because I had recently read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I really loved it. And I hear nothing but great things about this one, I have the Goldsboro edition that's like, maybe I'll do another special editions haul and show you that. It's got like purple sprayed edges and it looks like a record and it's like the coolest thing ever. But um, I can't touch that one to read it because it's too pretty and special. So I have this one to, to read. I think I have another copy too, in addition. Like I might have three copies. I might not. I think I might have ordered this and then canceled my order because I was like, oh, I'll get it from Book of the Month. So anyway, that's that. This one is tan and black, in case you're interested. So yeah, I have not read this yet. I imagine I'm gonna love it because Seven Husbands was phenomenal. And then in July, my pick was Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, which is a fantasy that's kind of Aztec inspired, I wanna say. I haven't read it yet. Oh, it's the jazz is in full swing, but Cassiopeia Tun is too busy cleaning the floors of her wealthy grandfather's house. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's like a jazzy Mayan thingy. It's cross-country odyssey from the jungles of Yucatan. Yeah, anyway, it's like a crazy thing. It's a really cool cover and it sounds like a really cool, unique read. It's not too super long. It's all, also, book of the month is all adult books with, I guess, they used to have like some add-ons and still do that are some YA books, but they do now have a YA book of the month like separately, which is like I could have signed up to be an affiliate, but I didn't because I have too many YA books already that I don't want to read. <laughs> but anyway, all of the normal book of the month books um, with a, some exceptions for some reason are adult books. So this is an adult fantasy. It's not YA. I say that because this looks like it could be and it's not. I haven't read it yet though. I've heard good things. And again, it's not super long, but I haven't read it. That same month, my add-ons were The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. I had seen it like a couple days before I had to pick my books for the month. Someone on Instagram talking about how they had just read this and loved it and how amazing it was, how emotional it was, how it really struck a chord with them. And from the way they described it, it really sounded to me like it would hit the feels that Angela's Ashes hit. And I love Angela's Ashes so much. Not a book I talk about on my channel really at all ever because it's not a recent read and it's not fantasy, which is mainly what I talk about, but I adore Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt. So not that I'm expecting this to be exactly like Angela's Ashes, but I feel like, because I liked it, I will like this, because um, it is about sort of like poor Irish people and specifically like two little boys, I think, or one little boy. I'm not sure, but it's like, it's about poor Irish people and it's super long. So I got it because... I had just seen someone talk about it and this was a cool edition. All of the like regular editions on Amazon that are available now looked terrible to me, <laughs> just like aesthetically. And for your girl who likes to put books on Instagram, they gotta look good enough to be Insta-worthy. So yeah, haven't read it yet. It's a beast, but I hope to, and I think I will like it. And then that same month, my other add-on was The Alienist by Caleb Carr. I've been wanting to read this ever since they did. I didn't know it existed, TBQH, before they adapted it for... It Was it on AMC? FX? I don't know. There's a TV series based on it with Luke Evans and Dakota Fanning. And I don't know. It looks gothic and cool and moody and dark. But as soon as I found out that it was a book originally, then I wanted to read the book and then see the show. So I can't see the show until I read the book. And I want both to happen. My motivation was a bit to see the show first, but I want to read it first. And um, I feel like it's going to be my jam. It's historical fiction, not fantasy. Um, but I do like historical fiction, especially with some of the sort of 
gothic morbid variety. So I haven't read this, but I feel like if I carve out some time for reading in October, which would be great because I hardly read anything in August or September because I've been so fucking busy, I would really like to read in October. Like I'm already trying to say no to plans because I would like to have no plans in October. That is my dream. <laughs> Let's make my dream come true. Anyway, I would like to read this in like fall time. It seems like a dark gothic read. And I live in California where it's never dark or gothic any time of year. But you know, I like to imagine that it is by reading books like this and then pretending it's dark and gothic time. And that brings me to the most recent month's book of the month. And um, my pick for this will be my September. Yes. These are my September. Yes. yes, September. It says it on there. Uh, my pick for the like book of the month was Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. This is a case of one, I didn't really like any of the picks for the month, but I wanted to get one of the add-ons. And you'll notice the pattern. This is the exact same thing um, for when I got Secret History. But yeah, so this was like of the ones that were available, the one that I was like the least disliking. And then if you saw my video on Amanda's channel where she made me read Bodice Rippers and or my channel where we talked about Blade itself slash Bodice Rippers. Anyway, it's like a thing we did where Amanda from the Naughty Librarian made me read Bodice Rippers and her channel link down below. Um, I had just read those Bodice Rippers when I had to place this order and I was like, maybe I should try to read more romance. Like, I shouldn't just say no to the genre. And I looked at the description for this one, and it looked more sort of intellectual. So it seemed like something that I would be into, because the, it's a story with interesting characters. It's not just sexy times. <laughs> so I decided to give it a try. Um, it seemed like quite a feminist kind of story. And I needed to pick a book. I had to. So that I could get the Goldfinch by Donna Tartt as an add-on. Apparently I subscribed to Book of the Month just so I can get hardcovers of Donna Tartt books. I have a paperback of this, which is already kind of beastly. And when this arrived, I was like, oh man, she thick. <laughs> I really wanted to read this before the movie came out and that didn't happen, but I still want to read it before I see the movie. <sighs> That's also probably not gonna happen, or at least not in theaters. I'm gonna need to accept that either I see the movie before reading it or I don't see the movie in theaters. It's fine. I can carve out some time to read this, right? Right? And then my other add-on book for September was The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. This, just like The Alienist, is historical fiction. Actually, it's, hist it's historical. It's like fictionalized nonfiction, I think. What I, like, I've heard of this book for years and like I vaguely knew what it was, but not exactly. But it is, it's based on a true story, but I believe it's like a fictionalized, like novelized version. But it is based on like true events from like the World's Fair, I think, that was in America. Blah, blah. Yeah, it's at the 1893 World's Fair. And there's a serial killer that was at the World's Fair. Yeah, so it is, it's nonfiction, because th this did happen, but it's like, a story. Like, it's told like a novel. Anyway, I've heard amazing things about it, and this and The Alienist kind of seem similar to me in, like, what they would be offering. So yeah, this is on my October to read list that I don't actually have one of those. If you're hoping for a TBR, keep open. But vaguely, theoretically, I'd like to read this at a similar time as when I would be reading The Alienist, aka on, like, the one rainy day we get when I break out all my candles and all my Viking books, and I'm like, let's read everything. <laughs> So yeah, those are all my book of the month club books. I am still subscribed, so I might do another book of the month club book haul if y'all want me to. Let me know in the comments down below if you do want me to. Let me know if you are also a subscriber and have picked any of these books. If you've read any of the ones that I haven't yet and want to like recommend that I do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me know stuff and things. I post videos on Saturdays, so like and subscribe. I'll see you next Saturday.